What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, Captain Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. For real, for real, for real. Okay, so I received a channeling, so I'm here. I hope everybody's doing well, and thanks uh, to all my new subscribers. I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Okay, so um, for anybody who doesn't know, we are currently in the super full moon in Aquarius, for anybody who doesn't know. And I don't have Aquarius in my chart. Everybody that's been with me for a hot minute, you know that. I don't have Aquarius in my chart. I have many placements in my chart, many fixed sign placements in my chart, but not Aquarius. But I love Aquarius. I love them. Um, they're my opposite sign, and I, I on textbook Aquarius um, characteristics, I think, are wonderful. But we are in the super full moon in Aquarius right now, August 11th of 2022. So saying that, a lot of truth and clarity and um, secrets are coming out. Um, things that don't people don't want to be shown are being shown, whether they want them to be shown or not, basically. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, Aquarian energy is very, 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 very good um for that for um the what's done in the dark coming to the light basically um and i feel that's what's going on i mean and that's just, I, i'm serious i mean it's that we are in the energy for this to occur and occur um uh, sorry not occurring according to the channel message that's about what's to occur unless it's already occurred for some of you guys um I am sorry for whoever this is for. I just want to uh, say this before I deliver it. I am sorry for whoever this is for. Um, I mean, y'all know I'm legally single and I've been legally single for a long time and I have for strategic reasons, And I, but I haven't even dated anybody. I haven't even dated anybody. Um, I am legally single, but, if I, but I haven't even dated anybody because there's not anybody I've been interested in. Um, well, that's, single <laughs> um but you know but i don't go i don't even if somebody i was interested in somebody and they were married um i, I don't do that <laughs> i'm not a home record so you know there's seven point something something billion people in the world so you know got to move through life with tact and grace in my opinion but anyways whoever this is for i am truly sorry I am truly sorry from the bottom of my heart chakra. And I really mean this. I mean it. Because um, this is, like I said, I say I'm legally single because whoever this is, you're not. You're not. You were legally married. And you are, oh, Lord. Um, I'm just going to deliver it. I apologize. I'm just saying. Um, I say this because I have been legally married before. One time. And there's reasons I got a divorce all those many, 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 many moons ago. And crap like this is what kind of caused it. Um, of course, that was a long time ago. I've healed from that. I mean, it was a long time ago. So I am way over it, way over it. Our divorce took like two years. I was over it when we signed the divorce decree. But my point is, it's crap like this that causes divorces is what I'm trying to say. And whoever is going through this or is about to go through this, I am so sorry, is all I'm saying, okay? Okay, so the channel message I received was um, someone is about to be sent a video um, of their wife with another man. Um, one, it is a private investigator. One, it is not. One, it is a sex tape. One, it is not. That is what I heard. Um, um, legally married masculine. 
legally married masculine is what I just heard. You're a legally married masculine. You're a legally married masculine to a legally married femme. And I haven't heard signs. So, I mean, you you know, whoever you are, um, sorry. Um, but you are a legally married masculine to a legally married femme in a legally binding marriage contract. So, um, some kind of video energy. Um, there's several of you guys that resonate in this. I heard you're about to be sent it. So I, I think it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like according to the channel message, it has not happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. I'll see if I hear anything else, but it, it's some kind of video energy. Okay. Some of you guys, you're a legally married man, masculine, if this resonates for you over here. Okay. But it's video energy all across the board, legally married masculine all across the board, okay? Some, it is a sex tape. Some, it's not. Some, it's from a private investigator. Some, it's not. So, obviously, we all know if it's a sex tape, it's a sex tape. Um, but the other, it's not, I feel it could be clips, video footage of um, this other person kissing this person or them going out on a date or um, or them, I don't know, holding hands or groping each other or something. I mean, it really all depends on how your spouse is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know. Only you guys know how your spouse is or you think they are. Um, not anybody else, okay? So, but some it's a sex tape and some it's not. So the other it's not, I feel, could be holding hands, walking in the park, um, PDA, uh, groping each other. Um, I, You know, something that's not sex tape related, but I feel so, um, solidifies the fact that they are together romantically, if that makes sense, okay? There's a reason you're getting sent this video. For some of you guys, it's from a private investigator. So I feel you've already hired this private investigator to investigate your wife. For um, for some, you might stop. You might start hiring the private investigator. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Okay, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but for the one with the sex tape, I mean, you just can't deny that. I mean, you just cannot. I mean, dear God. I mean, I'm just serious, but. But the good thing about this is at least you'll have the evidence to take it to the court of law for um, infidelity. I mean, and that's just the truth. So um, I know it's going to hurt. It's probably going to hurt your heart. Well, depending. For some of you guys, it might have been dead and gone a long time ago. I know, and I tell you that because, for example, of course, my divorce was a long, long, long time ago. A long time ago. But when we went and our divorce lasted two years two years it was terrible <laughs> feel like it was never going to be over but but um um we didn't get divorced for infidelity if i had evidence on him for infidelity which i knew crap had been going on i just didn't have the evidence in the universe but if i had had the evidence for infidelity i would have I would, it would have been infidelity and I would have presented the evidence in the court of law is what I'm trying to say. And that's the truth. But what I'm trying to say for you, masculine energy, especially the sex tape one or whatever other kind of video evidence it is that solidifies they are together romantically. That, I mean, infidelity, just saying, just saying, especially the sex tape. I mean, dear God. And that's just the truth. So, you know, it, it might hurt or it might not hurt is what I'm trying to say. By the time I got to the court of law for my divorce, it didn't hurt. But for some of you guys, it might still hurt. So I don't know. But I do apologize for that because I've been there. I've been there and it's terrible. Okay. So however this resonates, whether it's coming from an investigator, whether it's coming from somebody else, whether it's a sex tape or whether it's something else. Okay. We'll pull a card. Fair messages here, Rebecca. Okay. 
once one of these masculine energies gets the um, gets the evidence of their legally married spouse, for some, they're going to learn of this from somebody else. It will not be videotaped energy. It will be other, some other kind of evidence. Okay. Uh, for one of you guys, you're going to get it from somebody else. It's going to be some other kind of evidence, um, not videotape, inter, uh, videotape energy, videotape evidence. But you're going to get it from somebody else. Once, once you get this... Um, Learn about this, about your spouse, your feminine spouse. Through many series of chain of events, one of you is going to seriously pay it forward to a feminine terror reader. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. And one, a feminine... A feminine energy offering them a place, a temporary place to stay in a house that is currently vacant right now to help them out. Okay, okay, uh, whoever you are, okay. Um, okay, so there's it sounds like a lot of you guys are about to find out about infidelity, but some you're going to have evidence, so that's going to be good for you in the court of law, and I'm just being serious. Um, and that's just the truth, but once you learn about this, whether it's through sex tape video energy, um, other video energy or some other from somebody else in some other shape, form or fashion, I'm feeling text messages, email, um, screenshot or a picture or something, uh, from somebody else I heard specifically. Um, you're going to pay it, one of you guys, one of you guys, only you know who you are going to pay it forward, not anybody else. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit over here. All this is upcoming. But one of you guys, one of you married, current married masculine energies, I heard is going to pay it forward to a femme energy, one to a femme tarot card reader, and one to a femme energy, femme person. That To me, that could be a femme tarot card reader or anybody else in the universe, um, how that resonates. But you're going to pay it forward to this femme. Whether she's a tarot card reader. One, you're going to pay it forward to a femme tarot card reader. So however you're going to pay it forward to her, I don't know. That was very broad. That's the top one up here. You could pay it forward to somebody in a million different ways. Um, lower level, lower echelon to higher echelon. I mean, however, that could be a thank you to the tarot card reader. That could be a, a energetic like, a share of their video if they do an online platform. I mean, you can pay it forward a million different ways. So however you're going to pay it forward to Pim Tarot Card Reader, okay? Some it can be donations or what have you, what have you, gifts, what have you, okay? The other one is a Pim Energy, Tarot Card Reader or not. I didn't hear she's a Tarot Card Reader. I don't know. But I heard this person, um, you're going, one of you guys, and only you know who you are over here, very masculine energy, not anybody else about to do this. Once you learn about all this, you're going to pay it forward to her. I heard about offering her a place to stay in a currently vacant um, premises or building or something um, as a temporary place to stay. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So she's looking for a place to stay. You know she's looking for a place to stay or you're about to find out that she's looking for a place to stay. And wherever you're about to offer her to temporarily um, stay, it is currently vacant. Um, one is a vacation home. One is a vacation home, I heard. One is a vacation home. Okay, so one is a vacation home. One is not. One is not. So it's at least two fem energies. One is a vacation home and one is not. So one is a vacation home and one it is not a vacation home. But you either know already in the energetic space that they're looking for a place to stay or you're about to find out ma married masculine energy. Um, I think she might give you the evidence of all this crap on your legally married spouse or she might um, or she might be a um, femme psychic investigator or a femme reader because we're pulling a femme tarot card reader or she might be a private investigator investigating for you. Fem energy strong in here, whether they're a tarot card reader or other. 
This to me could be a tarot card reader or somebody else. Um, the invest private investigator could be a femme possibly or not. Only you know who you've hired or about to hire if you do. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, you guys, okay? Um, but you either know this person is a looking for a place to stay right now or they're about to be looking for a place to stay. Um, somehow they're in limbo or about to be in limbo with housing situation. You either know this or you're about to find it out. One of you, and that's for one of you guys. Only you know where you stand on these situations. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But there's at least two of you guys over here because one of these for the Fem Energies is a vacation home. One is not. So I'm feeling like a Airbnb, Airbnb, a rental home, a extra home, um, you know, just a, pl a place that nobody's staying. I'm a, hopefully it's not in the freaking ghetto or in like in freaking hillside country to where pe serial killers are going to come after her ass. But I mean, I don't know. <laughs> only you know your story, not anybody else. And only you know, you know if you have good intentions here, not anybody else too. Hopefully you're not offering her this place to stay. To put her in harm's way. I didn't hear you were. I feel it's more like a pay it forward energy. Because I think she's going to be the one to deliver you one of the, this information. Or give you a heads up on this. Or she might be an a femme investigator investigating this shit. Somehow I feel she has something to do with this. As far as giving you information. On your current legally married wife. That's what I feel. But only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, okay? We have walking away reverse number 27. Could be very significant number 15, number 27. Um, and we are in Leo season, too. You know, we are in um, super full moon in Aquarius, truth, clarity, and um, um, what's done in the dark coming to the light forefront. Absolutely. But we are also in Leo season, which is um, desire, drive, passion, and motivation. Um in the universe so getting things done you know um desire passion drive and motivation anybody i don't care what sign y'all are everybody exhibits all the signs energies it's how you hone and manifest them so i feel that's wonderful energy is what i'm trying to say leo season combined with the super, super full moon in aquarius because with aquarian energy and leo energy being opposite energies that to me they really complement each other in positive ways because they're completely opposite but wonderful in their own aspects and, and and that's just the damn truth and that's one of the reasons why i like aquarius is so much i'm a leo son i don't have aquarius in my chart but i i love aquarian energy for that reason if that makes sense walking away number 27 For one of the feminine energies that's about to get offered a place to stay, a lot of truth will be spoken there. A lot of truth. For one, you cannot get this person off your mind. Oh, whoa. Not in a creepy way. No, not in a, well, that's good. Not in a creepy way. Or not in a creepy way. So that's good, you guys. Not in a, We don't want it in a creepy way. And that's just the damn truth. Uh, <laughs> um, I heard, uh, for so for one of these, there's at least two of them. But I um, heard for one of them, um, you just can't get this person off your mind. Not in a creepy way. So I don't feel this person's put sex magic on you. I don't feel they put a spell on you. Put a spell on you. And now you're mine. Ah! Not like that shit. And that's just the truth. Um, I think there's another reason you can't get them off your mind. Um, only you know that reason, not anybody else. Uh, married masculine energy. Um, but I heard a lot of truth for one of these fem energies will be spoken. I think if she accepts the place to stay, you haven't offered the place to stay yet, whether it's a vacation home or an other, other home. You haven't offered it yet, sir. Um, but it sounds like it's upcoming in the universe, and you have walking away reverse. So I don't think you want this person to leave your life. Um, I don't think you want them to leave your life. And I'm serious. 
hold on one second. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was raining to start with. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't. Um, I think you're emotionally connected to them, or you are intellectually connected to them. Somehow, you don't. It's. I don't think you want them to go, or you feel you have something to tell them before they go. I guess. Um, how that resonates. How that resonates. I didn't hear any of that. That's just my deductive logic, reasoning, and intuition on that, okay? But there's a reason you're about to help this person out. I mean, you don't have to, but there is a reason you're about to. And you have walking away reverse. So I think there's something you need to tell them, or you want to tell them, or you feel you need to tell them. It could be feelings-based. It could be in information-based. It could be other-based. How that resonates, okay? I didn't hear anything, but I heard a lot of truth and clarity is going to come out for one of these situations. So I think it might be um, display of feelings. It might be display of feelings or it might be display of information if some if this person's in harm's way. Um, it might be, um, it might be just if they're in harm, I didn't hear they were in harm's way, but if they are, it might be display of information they're in harm's way and then maybe feelings occur. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear any of that. I'm just kind of giving you examples of what I think it may be. But we have walking away reverse. Um, you are positively connected to this person, or you want to be. I heard not in a creepy, obsessive way, so it's not stalkery way. That's always a positive. Let's pull one more, okay? Spirit messages you have reflective. It's going to help this person out in a huge way. If they accept, they may not. Okay, I heard it's going to help this person out in a huge way. If they accept, they may not. So there's two of them down here, two Fem energies. Um, it, it, I heard it's going to help this person out in a huge way. If they accept, they may not. So one, um, one of these Fem energies, or maybe both, they may not accept it. Um, whoever this Fem energies, these Fem energies are, they're very independent. Very, oh my God, you can't make this up. They're very independent. They're very independent. I heard if they accept, they may not. So. I think they like their freedom, their, um, I don't think like in a wild woman kind of way, like a, you know, going out, stripping on the pole kind of way. I just think maybe they have experienced controlling and domineerism in the past and they don't want to be in a toxic situation. Um, so maybe that's why they're independent is what I'm feeling for some of them. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Uh, number 14 can be very significant. Number 14, caring connections. For one masculine energy, you really care. You really care. And you're about to make this very well known to this person. Okay. Wow. So for one of you guys, you really truly do care about this person and you about to make it very well known. Uh, the one you're about to offer the place to stay. Um, whether it's a reader or not a reader or anybody else. Um, it's a femme energy, I'll tell you that. Um, and we have the masculine and feminine with caring connections. I heard you're masculine, um, married, masculine energy, but you're about to get evident. I mean, you're in a very toxic, unhealthy relationship, a late marriage, and that's just the truth. Um, for some, I feel you could have already knew you were in a toxic marriage. And I'm just being honest and straight up. I'm serious. I feel you probably already knew you were. For some, you're about to find out. Like, with your own eyeballs. With the video evidence. With um, voice recordings. With pictures. With what have you, what have you. I mean, you're just about to find out. Whether you wanted to believe it or not. And I hate that. I hate delivering these kind of messages. But it's better that you know. And I'm just being serious. Um, you know, people call uh, psychics crazy all the time, but until this shit really starts happening to, to these people, and then they're like, oh yeah, no, maybe they're not crazy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And that's just the truth.
heard for one, you really, really, really care about this fem energy. So, I mean, you can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. I got the channel message about offering the place to stay, whether it's a vacation home or a other home. Carrying connections upright. Um, now, how you guys manifest this, married, masculine energy, and fem energy. I heard if she accepts, so she may not even accept a place to stay. I feel she's very independent. She's very do it on her own. She's very, you know, I don't need no man. I mean, not no, like a, not in a super crazy feminist kind of way, but, you know, like in a, I don't want to be abused in toxicity kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you really do, you do care about the situation. It could be anybody in your life, sir. It could be anybody. It could be a daughter. It could be um, a mother. It could be a, um, um, or anybody else. It doesn't have to be family member. I'm just using those examples. It could be anybody, sir. Anybody. And one of you is about to find out your mother is a black magic wielder. It's about to shock the shit out of you. You're in your 40s and very successful. And for one of you married masculine energies, um, you're about to find out your mother is a black magic wielder. I heard um, very six, um, you're very successful and you're in your 40s. It's about to shock the shit out of you. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, sir. Um, you're in your 40s if that, res if that particular message applies for you, okay? Let's pull one more. 30s, 40s, and 50s, and 60s. 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, I just heard. So married masculine energies. You're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s over here. You're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. There's at least four of you guys over here. Probably a hell of a lot more than that. You're about to find get some evidence um, on your cheating spouse, uh, femme spouse. 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Now, what you do with that evidence, only you know what the hell you're going to do with that, not anybody else, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Spirit messages, you have to like it. People ask me because I've been uh, legally single so long. Well, this is why, man. It's it's hard to find somebody you know is really going to care about you. Oh, my God. And really isn't going to um, do your dirty in the love department. And that's just the truth. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Boom. Deceit. And we have appreciation um, upright, too, but I think that's down here. Deceit. 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, married masculine energies. They have lied to you. You're about to find this out. Number 25 could be very significant number one's life. Number 25. Lies, deception. There's like seven of swords in here. Lies, deception. Excuse me. Cheating, betrayal. You plug it in how it resonates, sirs. Dang. And then appreciation. I think, um, I heard after all this occurs, one, you're going to pay it forward to a FEM tarot card reader. Appreciation to the FEM tarot card reader. That could be a like. That could be a share of a video, of content, saying thank you on a comment. I mean, it could be a million different things for that. A donation, what have you, what have you. Or it could be appreciation for this FEM energy down here. For one, uh, one of you guys, you're going to offer her a place to stay, whether it's a vacation home or a um, other kind of home. Temporary. I heard temporary. Temporary is very significant there. So, you know, you're not moving her in as your mistress. You're not, you know, trying to barefoot and pregnant her, impregnate her. You're, you're, you know, truly trying to help there. Um, I feel in a positive, copacetic way. Um, just want to make that clear. So I think you're about to show appreciation there to both of these situations, these same energies. If that resonates, it applies. Number 15 could be very significant number in one's life, number 15. Let me see if I hear anything else. Um, I did, oh my, okay, I did hear something else, but I, I, and I, oh, I didn't hear not to put it on here, but damn, there's just, 
I don't think I'm going to. Whoa. <laughs> I, I don't. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm blushing. <laughs> Um, okay, I guess I will. Um, <laughs> I heard that somebody, uh, one of these masculine energies is going to be so thankful that they're about to learn this information <laughs> that through many series of chain events, one of the gifts they're going to send these, this femme energy, I heard to her door, is a sex toy. <sighs> uh, I feel kind of weird putting that on there, and I don't know who that's for. Uh, I haven't received any sex toys at my door. <laughs> um, but I, I, that is what I heard. So you, I don't know. I don't know you guys. There's like almost 14,000 of you guys on here. Uh, only, you know, masculine energy. If you're going to send a freaking sex toy to somebody's door. <laughs> you plug it in and it resonates. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't. All right, we're out. We're out of this. I'm tapping out, man. I right, love you guys. I'm gonna say.